you guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Guys, recirculating water culture, Beto bucket, Dutch bucket, whatever you want to call it, they're really easy to set up. Just need a few dollars in supplies, literally about $20 to $25 worth of supplies from a good hydroponics store or you could go to a hardware store and look for uh, all their automated watering type equipment. Most good hardware stores now carry that type of stuff. I went to a well-supplied uh, hydroponic store here in Grand Rapids, Michigan called Horizon Hydroponics. Uh, it's up on the northwest side of Grand Rapids. Awesome little place here, man. Hooked me up with some free samples, man. Look at this. They gave me a whole thing of uh, General Hydroponics Flora Series, man. I mean, this, is, this stuff will last me a year for the stuff that I grow here, man. So that was really cool of them. I want to give them a big shout out. They have no idea who I am, that I do a YouTube type channel or anything like that. It was just cool stuff. They also gave me a couple of, uh, let's see, Floralicious Plus. I guess that's for your hydroponic uh, uh, marijuana type stuff, which I don't get into, but it's still whatever. And that, But then there's also this. This is this Rapid Start Rooting Enhancer. All right, so I'm going to try this. I got some peppers to try that out on tried some uh, some rooting stuff um, or root enhancer stuff last year shot a couple of videos on it didn't work out real well uh, but that was an organic type this obviously is not so I suspect this will work out well so let's go look into some supplies what I'm gonna call this thing is a poor man's Dutch bucket reusable cheap durable I think it'll work uh, I'm probably gonna run it on an outdoor grow this summer so uh, Let's look at the supplies, let's look at the build, put it all together, see if it works, and then put it to the beans. Alright, let's see, what do we got in here? By the way, just to kind of prove it, probably can't see it, but I gotta cut my fingernails, but 24 bucks, alright, for everything in here. Well, I gotta add, I got five or six of these uh, three gallon grow bags that I'm gonna use for peppers. This has nothing to do with this video, so that's another additional expense. What do I got? I got a couple of uh, drip clips here. I have a hole punch, which we'll get into. All right. I have some hose end clamps. We'll get to those. I have some uh, poly tube, about 10 feet of it, a uh, quarter inch. This is a this is our feeder line, which they call a feeder line. All it does is take the nutrient and wherever you point these things, that's where the water will come out. This is our main line, okay, which is going to be way more than what we need. So if I want to set up another one of these setups, uh, this will be perfect. And I'm also going to use a piece of this, which is 3 8 inch as a return line uh, back to the reservoir. We'll get to that. A really 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 cheap pump okay a lot of people say buy the best but if you want to set up a single uh, type uh, indoor watering feature like I am going to be doing with one pot or maybe two um, just a cheap uh, 97 gallon per hour water pump will work this baby was eight dollars okay cheap 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 will we need 97 gallons an hour no but it's adjustable, and I like that. So we can tone, we can we can tune it down. In addition, we have some uh, water emitters. These emitters uh, give out approximately one and a half gallon per hour. So uh, they, what they do is is they restrict the flow uh, coming from the feeder lines. Uh, it, now that's going to make the pump work a little bit harder, but nonetheless, it's going to be easy. And I also have two, and I only needed one, but two three-quarter inch grommets. Again, these are going to be for my return line, okay? It'll all make sense in just a little bit. First thing we want to do is set up our main line, okay? And connect some feeder lines to it, and then uh, hose end clamp it. Remember, this is what's going to suck the water uh, through the device. And it's going to feed out through this main line to a uh, feeder line, okay? So simple, simple, simple. And you can set this up for as many drip lines as you want. In this instance, I'm only going to do two. All 
If this looks confusing, I promise you it is not. This is really, really simple. We take our, let me flip this over so I can see what I'm doing. All right, we take our main line and we connect it to our super simple little $8 pump, okay? Uh, water pump here, and it's got a 3 8 inch outlet, 3 8 inch coming in. Uh, a more uh, thrifty person would have bought a splice here and spliced it between here and here and tied it together that way. I just pushed the hose over top of this. It's got a good snug connection. I think we're going to be okay there. Remember, I want to do this as cheap as possible with the least amount of supplies. Now, the next vitally crucial important thing is, is this is our main line right guys we want to connect our feeder lines these are the lines that are going to go up to our pots uh, to the main line now how are we going to connect them right well, they're, yeah, uh, uh, it's not working okay so what we need is we need one of these hole punches all right and these hole punches come uh, let's see 325 so that's probably really cheap and expensive way to do this uh, we want to hole punch a few of these uh, spots out of here two feet in the main line, but we still haven't connected it, right? Now there's a couple of ways to connect it. Um, you could use uh, you could use a one quarter inch connectors, which are plastic connectors that come out here, or uh, quarter inch T's. However, there's another way to do it, and that's to use your drip emitter, okay? Now there are, like I say, a number of different ways to do this, but where do you want to restrict your water flow from? Do you want to restrict it up by the pot and the plants, or do you want to restrict it down by the main, uh, main line? You can do either or. I'm choosing this way so that I didn't have to buy the quarter inch connectors and tees and things of that nature. Keep it very simple. I'm going to put my emitters right into the main line right, there, right here, it's going to restrict the flow down to a half gallon or yeah, half gallon per hour right down at the feed line. So let's put two of these in and connect uh, our feeders. And basically, we're done. That's our feed to our plants. All we have to do is then come up with a return and put it on. Let's try it. Let's give it a couple of inches here away from that. Give it a little twisty poo. And once it goes through, we're gold, right? what we have is a little hole here now all right now we can uh, slide our emitters in just like that boom one in all right pretty simple let's do one more Perfect. I'm going to leave a little bit of extra room here because I think I'm going to end up wanting to expand on this at some point. So I'm going to cut it up. All right. Up so now here. that we got this all hooked up and cut off at the end, we need to close this end up. But if not, all of our water is just going to go flowing back out, in, back into our reservoir. And we do not want that to happen. We want our water and nutrient to stop off. Now there's a few ways of doing this, and I have completely bought the wrong end clamps. Not paying attention what we could do is by that end clamp like that and that will uh, stop it but that does not look very good this needs to um, be more like that so I do not like that so what we will do is an emergency repair and we'll take some pink duct tape Close it off like this, and it has to be pink duct tape, okay guys? Boom. That will officially close off our main line so that all our water comes out. All right, I've got two equally cut out uh, feed lines. Now, obviously, you want to cut enough to make sure it reaches from your main line all the way up to your pot, right? And all we have to do is now connect that. Connect that, and then boom. Here is your main line, your pump, and 
your feed lines to the pot. The only thing that we have to do now is build the return back to the reservoir. Simple, huh? Five gallon bucket, about halfway full. Reservoir. Our test subject, the beans. We just planted them. They're only a day in. But you know what? I see this, <laughs> incredibly enough, I see the top already starting to lift off. Which means we might even have sproutage in the next day or two. Which is fantastic. My goal here is to never have to water these beans. Ever. Tray is going to serve as the water return. Oh yeah, it's crazy. I know. Golf ball and this. Don't know why they're there. 3 8 inch drill bit. We gotta put a grommet, 3 quarter, or 3 8 3 8 inch hole, 3 8 inch grommet in here. Alright, check that out guys, see that? Grommet's in place. On the back, put a little Gorilla Glue in there just to kind of Tighten it up a little bit. Now we want to insert our uh, return line back in here, back into the reservoir. See that, guys? Grab it in. Return line done. All right, guys. What I ended up doing was putting our uh, feed and our feeder lines, uh, obviously connected to the pump at suction cup, to the bottom. Okay. And if we follow our feed lines. Right on up. Complete success. Alright. And um this just these two feeds right here are, are gonna be plenty enough to do this whole pot. In fact, at one point I'll probably just cut it down to one. Now you're probably hearing a dripping noise. Well, that's our return line, okay? So if we come back down here, we notice that the uh, saucer here is starting to fill up. So if we swing around here, <gasps> there's our grommet. And our return is going down the grommet into the main line, right back into the bucket. Boom. We now have a complete recirculating unit here, all right? Portable reusable and you'll never have to water again plug it in you can even put it on a timer something of that nature awesome now the key with all fabrication is test it before you put it into use so now that we know it's working we can now drill out the top feed the feed lines through put a cover over it so we don't have any algae buildup in our reservoir and I will never water these beans ever throughout their life cycle. Giggity, giggity, go. All right guys, 25 bucks, automated watering system. Boom, loving it. Leak free so far, everything looks straight up. Could there be improvements? Of course, there's always an improvement, but for a cheap recirculating uh, Dutch bucket, Beto bucket, whatever you want to call this poor man's Dutch bucket that's what we got going on here what I did do uh, obviously is I put a couple of these uh, bamboo stakes in and connected them to the uh, drip drippers here because those weren't very sturdy stakes that I bought really cheap 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 so um, th this works in the meantime and I'll just keep it running like this so as always guys thanks for watching let's uh, come back and check on this the progress of these beans and I'll never have to water them. Thanks, guys. Bye.